Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Lawn Fawn. Today I'm sharing a fun way to continue a cheery card messaged scene from the front of the card to the inside. So let's get started. First, I blend my background sky using the Slimline Cloudy Stencils and Distress Oxide Inks. I use blending brushes to blend Blueprint Sketch, Salty Ocean, and Tumbled Glass Distress Oxide Ink over a panel of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock for a soft, cloudy sky. I alternate the two sides of the different stencils to get different looks. After I finish stenciling, I blend a little tumbled glass onto the bottom of the panel and then I use a clean brush to soften the edges of all the clouds. Once that's dry, I trim it down to an A2 panel. Next I've stamped the fox and bunny from Happy Hugs and Scoot and Buy with Versafine and heat embossed them with clear embossing powder. I color their ears and noses with R02 and R00 Copic markers. Then I use E70s for the fox and toner grays for the rabbit. I love the warm gray-brown color of the E70 range and often reach for this color family when I want something a little different for fur color. E40 is also a great neutral color to use in combination with the E70 range for light colored bellies or tails. I use my lightest color first and then add shadows with my darkest color. I blend back out to the lightest color, extending the shadows with each marker. I use my lightest color to blend everything together and get rid of any harsh lines. Then I repeat the process for my bunny. Once I'm finished coloring, I die cut them with the coordinating dies. Next, I blend Cracked Pistachio Distress Oxide Ink onto a scrap of Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock and die cut it with the simple stitch Tillside Border Die to create a ground for my running critters. Then I adhere it to my cloud panel. I die cut the giant Sending Big Hugs word die from Black Licorice cardstock and adhered it to the center of my card panel.
Then I added both running critters on either side of the sentiment with foam mounting tape. On the inside of an A2 card base, I stamped a sentiment from Happy Hugs and adhered the hugging critters as if they finally reached each other. I don't know about you, but I'm waiting for the day where I can finally hug my friends I haven't seen in months, and I thought this card would be perfect to send them while we're still waiting. Off camera, I finished the card with a cheery bird couple from Happy Hugs and a few white gel pen accents on the Sending Big Hugs sentiment. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the Lawn Fawn channel for even more crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, have a fantastic day and happy crafting. Bye!